Yeah. There we go. Well, I mean, we can do, we can totally do that too. Okay. Um, totally yeah. into all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, so uh, behind me is a, a series of uh, five phone calls with our mom, and um, that family, of course, is so important uh, to her. Uh, she's part of a sibling group of 11 brothers and three sisters. Um, and family and culture is so important, uh, so important to her. And a priority in our family and in our growing up, you know. And like so many moms, uh, they call, right? They call. Um, and then when you're younger and there's no such thing as Alzheimer's in her life, you know, sometimes you answer, sometimes you don't, you know. And then Alzheimer's came, right? And I still kind of was like, sometimes answered, sometimes didn't, you know. And then it came again and got deeper and, you know, I like to think of it as a journey now, like she's walking on this Alzheimer's road. Um, so, I smartened up. And every time she called, I answered the phone. Absolutely every time. And it didn't matter if I was in a meeting, it didn't matter if I was teaching my class at uni any, any of my classes at university, it didn't matter if I was at dinner. Uh, every time she called, I answered. <laughs> I, get, I work at OCAD University now, and uh, I was doing the job interview, right? And, uh, you know, you're doing a job, it's pretty serious doing a job interview, right? And I, you know, you know, you're in the middle of the public presentation part of it, and the phone's ringing, right? And I'm just standing there at the front of the room, nervous, and then I'm just like, who is not who? Like, why are you turning your phone off? And then I said out loud, oh, it's me. <laughs> and it was my mom. Yeah, our mom called. Yeah, it's one of the one of the times where I couldn't, and I didn't answer, right? It wasn't a lot, that didn't happen a lot. And uh, so I said to the room, I said, you, you're here, uh, I need you to know that our mom has Alzheimer's. Um, it, if she calls, I have to answer it because eventually the phone calls will stop. Yeah. Uh, and then I, you know, put the phone on, do not disturb and turn the volume down. And then because she has Alzheimer's, she called five minutes later and the phone rang. And I answered it. Yeah, and I said, um, Mom, I'm a little bit busy right now, but I will absolutely call you back in an hour. Yeah. And so one of the things that was also happening was, uh, you know, the, the time that she was on the phone was getting shorter and shorter, right? And I don't know if this is what happens for everybody, you know? But you read the kind of research, all that kind of stuff, that, that's part of what they say, you know? The scientists, research scientists, right? Or, or family members. And so I thought, I'm gonna see if I can keep her on the phone, you know? How to, you know, because she's a very social person. Uh, and so what I decided was I was going to read to her uh, uh, Tao Tan Nation cultural stories, right? And so behind me are five recorded conversations with her where I'm reading um, cultural stories to her. Um, you don't hear her voice because um, that's just for me. Um, but you do see how I'm able to interact with her. And the piece is called, uh, I really miss your phone calls, Ma and Ma. Yeah, that's from 2018. 